What is up, everyone? My name is Joseph, and welcome back to another episode of Bossing Till Broke, the series where I kill a boss nonstop until I run out of supplies. And in today's episode, we will be killing Zami, the God of War's boss for Zamrock, until we run out of 10 million GP worth of supplies. If you're wondering why this episode isn't one of the options that was listed on the poll I did about a week ago on my channel, the main reason is I was going to do a Slayer-themed episode with some variety bosses, and Greater Demons just happened to be my first task and decided to just go balls to the wall with Zamrock. In future episodes, I'll do more of a Slayer-themed episode so you can get a more realistic feel for bossing with these kind of restrictions. But anyway, let's just get into this episode, the Zamrock God Wars episode of Bossing Till Broke. As a quick note, if you do enjoy these videos, you'll probably enjoy the live streams. I live stream multiple times a week, and I live stream a lot of the content that you see in this video. So if you want to see a more extended version, head on over to twitch.tv slash Joseph's Place. Give it a follow. And now that the shameless plugs are done, we can finally get started with this episode of Bossing Till Broke. The first thing that I want to talk about in this episode is the gear that I used for these boss kills. Now, I decided to use a very budget or a very restricted uh, gear setup. It's very cheap, and I'm using that as kind of a baseline. So if you have more gear, your trips are just going to be that much better. Uh, but I want to kind of give like an absolute lowest baseline of what you can get at Zami if you don't have a lot of money for supplies. Throughout these kills, I adjusted my armor a little bit just to find out what the best and cheapest armor I could find uh, to kill this boss without too much of a difficulty. And this is really what I came up with. So starting with the Slayer helmet, I do want to make a note that you should definitely be on task when killing this boss. I'll explain this more later on, but as a quick TLDR, this boss is probably not worth soloing if you don't have a Slayer task for either the boss or for Greater Demons. So be sure that you're on task and that explains the Slayer helmet. So after after the Slayer helmet, I decided to pick myself up a Kirill's leather top and bottom. Uh, since they're fairly cheap and provide very good defensive bonuses for magic as well as a little bit for melee. Picked myself up a Fury Amulet, a Berserker Ring, which I do have imbued. If you can't imbue it, just pick up a Berserker Ring anyway. It's still probably going to be very good for you for the amount that it costs. Dragon Boots, an Arc Light for the weapon, Dragon Defender, Barrow's Gloves, and an Unholy Blessing. Now that's my main gear. I did bring a few more additional items, mainly the Crystal Halberd and the Ancient Staff. And I used the Crystal Halberd as just as a spec weapon and the Ancient Staff to cast Blood Barrage or to auto cast Blood Barrage. And on top of that, I do have a Rune Pouch for the Blood Barrage runes. So in total, this gear cost about 11.4 mil, plus however much the rune pouch cost. I'm not going to factor that into the cost because there's a few different ways you can get it, and it's hard to really nail down an exact price for that. But just kind of assume 11 to 12 mil plus a rune pouch if you're trying to figure out how much you can spend on gear. So that's really the gear that I, that I bought. It works fairly well. It is very budget. It's very cheap. I would not suggest really doing anything with gear worse than this. You're going to have a little bit of a difficult time. Uh, so I would suggest waiting until you're probably around the 12 mil mark for gear before you attempt this boss. Now let's get into the supplies that I use for this boss. And I have a, a, on screen basically what I use per trip. So that, that would be one brew, one super combat potion, three super restores, one Sanfu Serum, four Anglerfish, 14 Sharks, about 32 to 50 casts of Blood Barrage, and I'll have that all in my inventory. And that's what I bring every trip for my supplies. So all of the supply budget basically went into these items, and then a little bit went into, into repairing Barrow's gear as well. So if you do subtract the amount that I spent in Barrow's gear and subtract a little bit because I did stop just short of the 10 mil mark for supplies, about 300k short, because I hate having to sell 100 runes to pick up a few potions and just juggling all that back and forth for one extra trip is just kind of annoying. So in the end, between potions, food, and the, the runes to cast Blood Barrage, I spent about 159k GP per trip in supplies. And that's really all you need to know about the gear loadout and the, the equipment to bring. So now let's talk about the method that I use to kill uh, the Zamrat God Wars boss. The method that I use for this boss isn't really anything surprising or out of the ordinary. I got my 40 KC, went into the boss room, used all my specs on Zami, and between every attack or every two attacks, I'd walk under Zami, attack him again, rinse and repeat. 
Uh, so nothing really out of the ordinary. I did blood barrage the melee and the range minion at the end. So what I do is I stack those two up on top of each other, blood barrage both the melee and the ranger to heal up a little bit and save on food, and then finish off the major with arc light. Using this method, I'm able to get about three to four kills consistently per trip, which isn't anything out of the ordinary, but for the amount of gear that I was able to bring, or for the, the lack of gear that I brought, I felt that that was a pretty good uh, pretty good baseline for how many kills per trip you can get. And that's it. <laughs> like, there's really not much else that goes into killing Zami. It's a very simple boss who can hit very high, but the mechanics are very simple. Attack him twice with a regular weapon, walk under him, and attack him again. While that method might be very simple and straightforward, I want to give you just a little bit of a quick tip just to kind of explain why you walk under him and what it really does. Trust me, this won't take long. I've been told my quick tips don't last very long. Anyway, what it all comes down to is attack speed, and primarily the difference of attack speed between your attacks and the Zamrock's attacks. So if you're using a four speed weapon like a whip or an arc light, uh, your, your attacks are going to be one tick slower than Zamrock. Zamrock attacks at a three speed, which should be three ticks, every three ticks, and a tick is 0.6 seconds, so every 1.8 seconds, he will be attacking you, and every 2.4 seconds, you will be attacking him. So if you just stood there and attacked him for three attacks, so you just stood there, you didn't move, and you slashed at him three times, it would take you 12 ticks to complete this action, which would take you 7.2 seconds to get all of those attacks off. Now, in the time it took you to attack three times, Zamrock was actually able to attack four since he attacks at a speed quicker than you do. So every four attacks or every three attacks you give him, he is attacking you four times, which adds up quite a bit over the length of the entire fight. To counteract this, you just walk under him directly after your second attack. And even though his attack speed is higher than yours, he won't be able to get that third attack off if you walk under immediately. You'll, he'll only be able to attack you twice in the time that it took you to attack twice. And then you just wait underneath him where he can't hit you long enough for your attack to come back. And then from underneath him, attack him. You'll run out from underneath him. You'll both attack each other at the same time. And then after your second hit, just walk back under him. And he'll basically hit you for every time you hit him rather than hitting him, him hitting you four times every time you hit him three times. So you're essentially making his attack speed the same as yours without reducing your own attack speed. If you get the rhythm down, you can actually walk underneath him and attack him again the same at the same speed of your normal attacks. So your attack speed doesn't get lowered at all, and you're essentially canceling one of his attacks. So it's basically free damage without extending the, the length of the kill at all. I know everyone already knows that they need to walk underneath the Zami every two hits. What I wanted to do is explain why. Because I feel if you know why you do a specific mechanic, it helps you learn the, the encounter that much better and gives you a better grasp on the boss as a whole. And I don't know if really everyone knows why you walk underneath Zami specifically. I know when I started killing him, I had the wrong idea. I thought it was more like a bando situation because his attack speed is a little bit too slow. So you walk under him to cancel attack, but for a slow attack speed rather than a fast attack speed. And I felt like understanding that gave me a better grasp on just knowing when or and how much damage I'll take per kill and just help, help me gauge the situation a little bit better. Uh, so I just wanted to share that with you guys in case there's anyone out there who doesn't quite know why you walk underneath Zami. But that is it for this portion of the video for the method and for the quick little tip. So now let's get into the exciting part and let's get into the loot tab and let's see how much loot I was able to get. So first things first, let's go over how many kills I got with this amount of supplies. And the answer to that is 195. I got 195 kills over about 50 to 60 trips. I didn't keep exact count, but it was about 50 to 60 trips. And it took about 19 to 20 hours. Keep in mind, I was streaming most of this, so my kills were a little bit slower. My banking speed was a little bit slow as well. Uh, but that's pretty much how long it took. Let's just round up to 20 hours to get 195 KC. And the total loot, if you add everything together, was 38.6 mil after everything was sold. Now, you may be thinking, wow, that's actually quite a bit. Uh, but when you subtract the supply cost, which was nine points, about 9.7 mil, you really just come out with about 28.9, let's just say 29 mil 
over the course of 20 hours, which is around 1.3 to 1.5 mil GP per hour, which is not terrible, but it's not fantastic. And if you noticed on screen, I got a lot of uniques, specifically three Zamorak Spears, one Zami Hilt, two Steam Battle Staffs, and a Staff of the Dead, all within 195 KC, which is very lucky. I'll leave the probability chance of me getting those or that many of each item on screen. But overall, the chance of me getting seven or more of any unique at this boss in that amount of KC is just over 9%. So less than one out of every 10 people who kill this boss for this amount of KC will see this many uniques. And I got pretty lucky. I got a, quite a few Zami Spears, which is one of the more expensive items or actually the most expensive item that Zami drops. So I got very, very lucky and still only made out to at best 1.5 mil GP per hour. And add on to that the fact that you have to get KC every time you kill the boss. And that is a very dangerous boss to go to. He can stack you out and combo you out for a lot of damage all in just a few ticks. So if you're not ready for it, you can die very easily just from not being prepared or not being up over about 70 or 80 HP. So it's a very risky boss and there's a pretty big time in between trips because you have to get KC every single time and because of all those reasons that kind of leads into my recommendation and my thoughts about this boss overall and is it worth it probably not especially with this budget gear I had to get very lucky just to get competitive GP rates to other common GP money makers and even just other slayer bosses in general so even if you're just doing this boss as a slayer task you can still probably make better money just by doing slayer other ways and not doing this boss um, especially if you don't have the money for better gear if you could double the amount of kills per trip you got maybe get up to eight or nine which is a little bit more respectable with some better gear you know you can double that profit but again i did get very lucky so even with that you're going to average out to be just about a, an average money maker for this level and it's not going to be anything out of the ordinary and for how difficult it is to get to each trip you have to go all the way to god wars get your kc then go back in that's kind of annoying to do that every single time so would i recommend you do this boss honestly like I said, probably not. There's a lot of other bosses you can do and a lot of other ways you can make money, especially if you want to stick to soloing bosses. Now, if you end up duoing this boss or, or trioing, uh, of course, you get way more kills per trip and it's way more manageable. But as a solo player, limited on supplies and inventory space, it just is very difficult to make this appealing over other activities you can do in game. But that's just my opinion. Feel free to leave your thoughts in the comments below. I'm interested to see what other people think of this boss. Again, I think it's interesting. I don't mind doing it in short spurts, but I would not want to kill this boss again for this amount of time for no real reason especially with budget gear. I think this boss would be way more manageable with a Dragon Warhammer and a Toxic Staff of the Dead just to make the minions faster and to get a little bit more healing. And I think that would make it much more manageable. But with budget gear, if you're on a budget, I would definitely not suggest this boss over other options. But that is all I have for this video. I hope you guys did enjoy it. Like I said at the beginning, uh, check out the Twitch channel if you do want to watch these live. And I will be coming out with a Slayer-themed video the next time I do one of these episodes on my main account. I have one that I want to do on my Iron Man coming out pretty soon. But uh, the next main content will probably be a Variety Boss Slayer video. But I hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you did, be sure to like it and subscribe if you haven't already. But that is all I have for this video. My name is Joseph, and I will see you guys next time.